So yes, I'm going to be talking about rectangular unfoldings of polycubes. So first of all, what is a polycube? Well, we all know what polyominoes are. No need to explain that at G for G. Polycubes are the same thing, just one dimension up. Instead of connecting squares at their edges, we're connecting cubes at their faces. It's a very natural object to consider. These are all of the four polycubes. A lot of those you might recognize as, as soma pieces. So one fun thing you can do with 3D objects, if you consider the surface, is you can unfold them. So in particular for polycubes, what we're interested in is cutting along the edges some way to unfold a flat net of squares in the plane. There's, uh, it's well known that there's 11 nets of the cube up to symmetry. These are those. So depending on how you cut the edges, these are the distinct unfoldings that you get. Now as you get to larger and larger polycubes, like the, the die cube, two cubes glued together, instead of 11, that has 723 unfoldings. So that's already a large number. The uh, one by one by three tricube has over 15,000. This is one of them, and you might notice that it has a problem uh, because it doesn't lie flat in the plane without overlap. It's sort of not a valid unfolding. So you might wonder, and a lot of us have wondered, this is a, a big open problem about polycubes, is is there such a thing as an ununfoldable polycube? Any polycube that no matter how you cut the edges, you cannot lie it flat in the plane. You might imagine, you know, of course, if you have some really complicated thing with hundreds of cubes going all which, which directions, it's going to be very challenging to find some way to cut the edges so that you can lie it flat without overlap. But so far, nobody has found one, including people who have done like very large Menger sponges and so forth. Um, so at a workshop a few years ago, some of us decided to investigate this. Uh, I wrote a search program to try to find a counterexample. Um, the problem is the combinatorics here. The number of polycubes with a given number of cubes grows very rapidly, as you can see. Um, in fact, even enumerating those 69 million uh, 13 cubes took over six hours on my, on my Mac Pro. Um, I was able to exhaustively search all the polycubes up to size 12 and prove that all of them have um, flat unfoldings. The conjecture is now that all polycubes do have flat unfoldings, so, and we're not going to be able to find a counterexample by computer search if that's true. And random examples up to 1,000 polycubes are also easy to unfold. So, so um, but there's other questions you can ask about unfolding polycubes. And uh, the next one that we considered is, is there any polycube at all that has an unfolding, you know, a net of those squares that is an exact rectangle? None of those for the single cube were. None of them for the die cube or the tri cube are. During this workshop, um, Ryu, Ryuhei Uehara, who's a G for G regular, um, found this curious object by hand, amazingly enough. This is a genus five polycube that unfolds into a six by 20 rectangle. And so now the question is, all right, well, what's the smallest polycube that unfolds into a rectangle? So I went back to my search program to search for rectangular unfoldings. And uh, we weren't all that optimistic we would be able to beat this because sort of obviously, You'd have to get a pretty big polycube to be able to do this. And lo and behold, there is actually a six cube that has rectangular unfoldings. In fact, this one six cube, which I'll show you on the next slide, um, has there's 1,440 different ways to cut the edges such that it unfolds into a rectangle. Some of them are three by eight, and some of them are four by six. And uh, this is what that object looks like. It's a two by two by two cube with the opposite corners removed. So it's made out of six cubes, sort of in a hexagonal arrangement. And this is one of the characteristic um, nets for it on the right. So the cool thing about this problem is, first of all, we've solved this, this open problem. We now know what the answer to this is. But you can go the other direction and turn this into a puzzle, as we discovered the next day playing with this. If you cut this shape out of paper and try to fold that polycube, it's not so easy. Um, <laughs> So I decided to make a nice mechanical version. I, I did a lot of experimenting with 3D printing geometries and hinges and magnets and came up with a nice puzzle that, that snaps together uh, at, the, at the angles and took it to a conference and uh, Donald Knuth picked it up and started playing with it and wouldn't put it down. And uh, so that was kind of gratifying. He made a bunch of notes and uh, after working on it for about an hour, uh, he solved it. So. That made me very happy, and he had lots of complimentary things to say about the puzzle design. So um, if we can go to the overhead, 
this is what this object looks like. It's very fun to, to play with. And uh, as you can see, it unfolds into exactly a rectangle. So my exchange gift for you all, thank you. My exchange gift is, I'm sorry to say, not the 3D printed version. You have that? Yeah. Uh, this is printed on cardstock, so you can cut it out and the cardstock is stiff enough to hopefully fold the angles and you can see if you can do better than Don Knuth at solving it. Thank you.